In this problem, I'll talk about the impulse momentum theorem. And here, the force is not a constant. It does change with the time. Okay? So this force is a time-dependent force. And this force is now being applied onto a mass. And if the ma mass starts from the rest, what is the speed of the object after time for t equals to 4 seconds? So let me explain this one. Let's say you have a mass here. And this force is now being applied. And this is at rest. So the initial velocity is at rest. And you can see the force is time dependent. It does vary with the time. So after 4 seconds, the object is at this location. You need to find out what is the speed of this object. And how are we going to do it? So the simple way of doing this one is using the conservation, using the impulse momentum theorem. That's the straightforward way of doing this one. What is the impulse momentum theorem tells you? The impulse tells you the impulse is equal to the change in momentum. And the formula for calculating impulse is this. F time, F is the force times time and then taking the the, the integration over the entire interval that gives you the impulse or in other words how can you understand impulse how long does a force act onto the system the product of force and the time is the impulse for the amount of the time a force acts onto a system is the impulse and this is exactly equal to the change in the momentum. So now the force is given. So I'm just writing down the force. And dt is the time. And change in momentum is the final momentum. This is the final momentum. And that's the initial momentum. So this is the final momentum. And this is the initial momentum. F stands for the final. And the I stands for the initial so the mass is 2 kilogram. The velocity, we do not know it. The mass is again 2 kilogram, but initial velocity is 0. So we have 0 here. And then now we need to integrate this one. And I would just like to remind you that the integration, let's say you have a function x to the n dx. And if you integrate, what you get is x to the n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 so you just need to keep this in mind okay the other thing you have to notice the the exponent has increased by one one and then you have n plus 1 here and the tw so if we now integrate the 20 is a constant so it will be now t q divided by 3 again 50 t squared 1 up and divided by 2 and the time the time is from here the time is t equals to 0 second and here time is equal to 4 second so the limit is from time equals to 0 to time equals to 4 second and this is simply equals to 2 times vf so first we will just we plug time equals to 4 second so 20 divided by 3 4 q plus 50 divided by 2 is 25 t is now 4 square times is equal to 2 vf and if you solve it what you get is 413 meter per second so we now by using the impulse momentum theorem found out what is the speed of the the particle when a force when a varying force the time dependent force acts onto it so this is it from this impulse momentum theorem and again do not forget to like share and subscribe